I forgot to tell you that next to my three YouTube channels, I use this icon here with my Android to answer your comments. Here, this is my Android channel, so I just confirm it. Eh? And very seldom, very seldomly, this here from my email account. So this here is my email account. But these two channels are no real channels, as there are no videos on them. Just so you know for sure, that's me and not some cyber criminals. Anyway, there's nowhere on any of my channels I ask for money because I have no bank account, no, nor PayPal, nor anything else. These are the cyber criminals only doing that. So again, have a good look. This is my Android, which I use a lot for commenting. My Android channel with no videos. And this is just attached to my e email, which I used sometimes, but not very often. It was just easier as I was logged into my email, you know, at the same time, do some commenting, you know, that's all. Uh, but I, normally I use this one here eh, with the glasses. And well, I'm not an American, but uh, you see an American flag. And I had to, you, you know, YouTube was asking me for an icon uh, for a picture. And the, um, uh, the only thing I had with me, you know, that sort of fitted together to having it in green was this little flag and these uh, shades. So I just put it in there and said, OK, that's it. That's done. Eh? So there's no reference to uh, anything. Neither is this one for the same reason, sort of. A good man and follower of my videos left a comment on yesterday's film how Swissy displayed the American flag on their famous Matterhorn mountain in Switzerland on April 16th, 2020, saying, yeah, I'll read it for you, what, the, what, what it said here. As it stands, the USA is the country that has been most impacted by the COVID-19 crisis. So, so this is what the Swiss tell the Americans, yeah? with the highest number of confirmed cases. Our thoughts are with all American people at this unprecedented time. May our message convey solidarity and give you hope and strength. We look forward to meeting again at the foot of the Matterhorn. We are all in this together. And here, this is what the embassy says here, this one, the, 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 um, the embassy of Switzerland here in the United States. Incredible. As a sign of solidarity, the American flag was projected onto the Matterhorn last night. Switzerland is sending hope and strength to the United States of America. The caption of the post reads, Funny though, in Switzerland, nobody has been confined in lockdown so far in this very suspicious base of Pharaoh in the Alps. And my Swiss wife, who is a nurse, told me that the hospitals in Switzerland are empty and that they have nothing to do. My guess is Swiss is getting nervous because of my videos. Too many Americans waking up and remember, Swissy never does anything for nothing and for no reason, except when there are some big bucks to steal somewhere, or in this case, out of pure political reasons. Oh, we are the good, clean, honest and neutral Swiss and America's best friend in the world. So welcome in our beautiful Alps but where they practice large-scale extortion on all young Americans passing by through policing for profit. So go and have a look at these videos here, all three of them. You can see how the Swiss, in reality, how they treat young Americans. They just steal their money, the you know, police with guns coming up and ten thousand dollars for a u-turn you know because they were having fancy cars and just young kids who worked for it you know but the swiss they thought 
oh, there's money, you know. So forget about the flag on the Matterhorn, please. In reality, though, the Swiss are more into helping Nazis escape to South America with their great eminence, François Genou from Switzerland and the rest of them, who was also part of the Nazi Red Line help organization called Stille Hilfe, meaning silent help in German, just as Heinrich Himmler's daughter Gudrun Himmler was all her life. And she even continued the line of work of her head of the SS father by working for the German BND secret service, the Bundesnachrichtendienst. So here you can see them people, it's a bloodline and we're still in the Third Reich, you know. Here you can see Himmler, he was the head of all the concentration camps. Here you can see the square and compass symbol. This is little, it looks like little Greta Thunberg, probably also the same lineage. Here you can read it, uh, still the same one. Say. And she went working for the German spy organization against the German people. All of them. They're, they're always against the German people. Look, there she is. Gudrun Himmler, the daughter of Heinrich Himmler, who murdered millions of people. You know, he, he helped murdering millions of people in the concentration camps. But look, she's still doing the salute. So it's a bloodline. It goes on and goes on. The Nazis won the war and Swissy is their base, Swissyland. So you can read something here about this woman. So Borowitz Himmler. Borowitz is the man she married. Himmler, her father. Hey, and she was still to Stille Hilfe, silent assistance. Oh, that's even a better translation, eh? Uh, they go on, they go on, they go on, and they all lie to us. Everything is a lie. You know, clean authorities, you know, they, they still work in the authorities, all the Nazis. Eh? Clean Switzerland, neutral Switzerland. Oh, they put a nice flag on a, on a mountain, eh? We're your best friends. In the meantime, without you knowing it, they go on with these things against your children and against you. It's all a big scam. And because the BND, you can see it here again, and the SS Chief Himmler's daughter worked for the German spy agency, right? So because of the BND, the spy agency, they were terrorizing the left-wing people in Germany, just as their predecessors, the Nazis, did. Well, they were the Nazis. The BND were, they were full of Nazis of the paperclip uh, project. So they were terrorizing the left-wing people in Germany, just as her father Himmler did. So the German left-wing movement had to form the RAF, the Rote Armee Fraktion, to hit back the Nazi empire. These are bloodlines, people, and they'll never stop and go on and go on, while changing names, changing uniforms, disappear and pop up somewhere else later on and these ones here are also part of of it the notorious belgian solvay family and owners of the mother of darkness castle having a group in brussels called le cercle solvay the solvay circle and circle concept of three the compass who show Templar books of their predecessors. And circles have always something secretive because a circle is closed on all sides. No opening for those who are not initiated. So here you can see it in the circle, you know, this is the compass, the circle is the, uh, the Templar's cross and it's an oval. Remember what I told you about the oval in the oval office. And it is in red, as it should be, and all these mystical things here. The rest of the picture is really, you know, horrible. You know, you can see part of it here. And this is their logo. Look at that. The downward pyramid of death in the logo. So, Cercle Solvay. This guy, Solvay, Ernest Solvay, he built the, uh, the Solvay Refuge in Switzerland. See my film, The Swiss Beast, Home of the Devil. So here's the logo. Oh, I like logos and symbols. I'll break them down, make some more. Eh? 
So here's the downward pyramid of death. They all headed in Auschwitz, you know, before they gonna, they were going to die. Here are the wings of Ma'at, Pharaonic. The whole thing looks like a scorpion. And then there are three sort of oval circles, you know, the concept of three. And the first one, the biggest one, it's a bit open, but it has the, uh, the fangs here of the, uh, the scorpion, eh? its claws. So this means the bigger circle, uh, it's still open. Anybody, you know, like can come in. And then you've got a smaller circle. This is more for the advanced, and this is closed. And then you've got the supreme circle which is uh, also closed and getting smaller for the, for the elite of the elite inside. And here it's got a dagger here or something in the middle. And this is a hammer, it's crossed here. And here I don't know what this, this thing is here. Everything has a meaning, always. When you see a logo of a company, because they all belong to them, a coat of arms or these sort of things, um, or cult, they all have a meaning everything has a meaning you know and don't let them tell you oh it's a scorpion like or it's the sun or it's no 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 uh, the same with the nazis you know the ss everything has a meaning another excellent commenter gave us this important information on the anagram of novartis in the comments he left yesterday so look at all the letters of Novartis, yeah, remember them. Look at the insemination of the egg with the injection needle here, the vaccination, making you infertile. There is an Armenian goddess of water, sea and rain called Tsovinar. And anagram for Novartis. So related to the artificial insemination logo of Swiss Novartis, how a baby fetus is floating in salty water in the womb. Therefore, the goddess Tsovinar Novartis, the goddess of rain and water. It seems an evil Hathor battle over the womb to control humanity with all those goddesses of evil all over. Fantastic comment, Big Mick. Respect, bro. Hope. I hope I can retire soon. It's great working together with you guys. Here, an Iranian Air Force badge under the Shah, Pahlavi of Persia. And nothing has changed. You know, you can all see the, uh, the square and compass in it and a crown. Because it all comes from the crown, all this. So first there was the crown. The old world order, and then there was the new world order, eh? With the wings of Ma'at. So nothing has changed. As we can still see the square and compass in some army flag of today's Iranians and their so called religious state. Nothing has changed, and still the same ones in control who just changed their jackets, telling a different set of lies. Look. Here you can see a square here. Why? I mean, what, what does it have to do with it, you know? What does it have to do with this rifle and the hand? And the hand is Masonic, eh? So this is a square. So where is the compass? I asked you. Well, here, of course, here's the circle. It's the compass with a little branch of Acacia, which is very Masonic. And also this angle from here to here, it looks like a compass, or maybe this one from here to here. But anyway, the square is very, very obvious, hey? And it's all on blue, the war color. Uh, this is some Iranian general. And General Qasem Soleimani, he, he was woken up, so they killed him, hey? And the same thing in Russia. Actually, the Russians, they call it Rasiya which is related to my name, Ross or Rus, as the Vikings when they uh, came to Russia and uh, sailed down the, uh, the Volga and all the big rivers all the way to Constantinople. Uh, they saw a lot of horses, so they call it the land of the horses, Rasia. So the same thing in Russia, still ruled by the Tsars in a new form of horizontal rulership 
with Tsar Putin, whose name means someone belonging to the way or road, someone who goes along the way. Ah, probably a hitchhiker like me, eh? <laughs>